How you doing? My name is Oscar Moran and I work for AC Beyond. Um, the last time we were left off, oh by the way we're using brown, I don't have any black color. So we talked about single phase voltage. Today we're going to talk about three phase voltage. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with the wiring diagram. We're going to have the transformer. And by the way, this is step down transformer. See, this is our and follow. Okay. Now this is gonna be this is line one, line two, and line three. Okay. Now on the uh, here we're gonna have common R and we're going to have G. G means fan, so we're going to have a coil for G. Now, if you remember, it is, since this is a three phase, we're going to put it right here. This time it's three phase, we're going to divide it like so. So, now if you remember, I was doing this before, and I mentioned that if the wire is not touching, it's going around it. Okay. Now, if you remember the legend, like in here, we're gonna have. I'm gonna mention this. E. Let's say E C. And E C is gonna be the evaporator. Evap coil means contact a coil. So this is this is E C. We're gonna have E C one, E C two, and E C three. Now you remember you remember that on the contact it's it's itself. Remember we have. The, uh, the main voltage and the control voltage inside the contactor itself. So the way it's going to work, and this will going to be E for now, right? Okay, so this is your stack. Okay, we're going to have a wire stack here. The stack to G. So when we put on the switch on, what's going to happen is we're going to energize EC to contact the coil and once it energizes the coil it's going to close the contact one, two and three then the fan comes on now this is actually let's mention this is EM and this is EM means EVAP motor okay That'll be the first thing we're doing, okay. But now we're gonna talk about R1, or plus R over here. And then we're gonna have Y1 here. Now if you remember this is your terminal strip and this is your stack. Now today we're gonna put uh, same thing, we're gonna put a coil coil and we're going to put the, uh, let's say it's C, 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 B compressor, contactor, coil, and then we're going to have C, C here, C, C1, And then we have CC2, there's a loop again here, CC3. Now with the compressor contactor, same thing, same scenario. When you call for cooling, cooling comes on, fan comes on, depends if it comes on with the, with the cooling or you want the fan to be running by itself first. 
So it's same thing, same, same scenario. Y1, call for cooling. 24 volts will go to the coil, to the uh, compressor contact the coil. Coil energizes, contacts one, two, and three close, and the compressor comes on. You put a C over here, and this will be your compressor. Okay? Now, you notice there's no safeties now because now we're going to introduce the other components. Now we're going to, let me see, let me see. Actually, you know what? Let me change this real quick. We're going to make more room. So this is your coil. And this is the number that is your C, C, right? So, from here, the, um, Household air conditioners, some of them don't have safeties. On the big equipment, they have safeties. They have low pressure switch and high pressure switch and some other stuff. But today, we're going to put in what we call a low pressure switch. Okay. happen is when the pressure inside the air conditioner goes up the low pressure switch is going to close and then we're going to put a high pressure switch so you need to consider your LP and this is your HP okay now normally when you buy the low pressure switch from the store it's going to be it's normally open, okay? But once you put it into, inside the system, it closes because the system is pressurized and it closes by itself, okay? So they're normally open. But since it's in the system, it's closed. Now the HEPA switch, when you buy it from the store, it's normally closed. What happens is when the pressure goes up, it's going to close. I'm sorry, when the pressure goes up, it's going to open. It means it's a safety. So you got one, we have two safeties right now. Okay, so you have, uh, you know what, hold on. So, we have LP will be a low pressure switch. NHP will be your high. pressure switch okay now remember that they're closed because it's in the system so what's going to happen is same thing when you call for cooling 24 volts is going to go from here work from the transformer to the stack Y1 call for cooling it's going to go through the low pressure switch and then it's going to go to the high pressure switch and then it's going to close go to the contactor coil okay now, just in case if uh, the unit is water cool, they have to do something with the water flow inside the air conditioner. If it's an air cooler, then you have to check the motor, okay? Over here, I didn't put a motor yet because we're going, you know, little by little. But what I'm trying to say is that if the air conditioner goes down and the fan is running, pretty much going to be one of these things that's open, okay? Later on, I'm going to be able to uh, tell you how to troubleshoot if the problem is inside the air conditioner or outside the air conditioner, okay? So anyway, that's so far from that. And then, let me see. Like I was saying before, on the white one, this is the low pressure switch, okay? The low pressure switch is going to be from the terminal strip, you're going to have a wire, going to the low pressure switch, one wire goes here and the other wire goes to the head pressure switch which the head press which will be here by the way this is connecting to the AC system okay and so is this one meaning to the refrigerant line so what's going to happen is this you're going to have however here it's going to go from wire one to the reverse switch from the head press switch here to the other loopers to the other side of the high pressure switch to the contact the coil which will be here. So pretty much gonna look like this. 
Okay. Now from here, hyper switches are wired from here, and from here goes to common. So once everything is closed on this one, it's going to pull the contactor, compressor comes on, and, and that's it. With the uh, with the evaporator fan, it's also three phase, so it's going to be the same thing. Pretty much, when voltage goes in here, one coil, from one side of the coil, then to the other side of the coil, goes to common, closes, and it has a fan mode. Okay? Now the HEPA switch, mm, I said like 90% of them are manual reset. This one is pretty much just automatic, but it locks out in safety. But like 90%, I would say I would have said 99, but they have new equipment now. So 90% of the air conditioning equipment, HEPA switch, are manual reset. So a lot of people when they do on a service call, pretty much they will press this and then compressor comes on and that will give an indication that something happened with the uh, high side of the system. Okay? So I guess it's with this, you know, I guess I'll be it for today. Uh, just don't forget to subscribe, give you a thumbs up on uh, so YouTube and also on Instagram. Okay? Alright, take care and bye bye.